In this video, I'm going to show you how to plot functions of two variables in Maple. Here's a reminder of how you plot a function of one variable. You use the plot command. A couple things to notice here. First off, there's a comma between your function and the range of values you're interested in. And we use this dot dot notation here to talk about a range of numbers. So we're plotting x squared from negative 3 to 3. Yay, it's a parabola. All right, we want to do the same thing, but now we want a function of two variables. We're going to use, we are going to use plot 3D. It's plot x squared plus y squared. There's that comma. Please note that now you need two ranges of numbers, one for the x and one for the y. And you need a comma between each range. Cool. There's our graph. Note a couple of things. First off, you can click on it and rotate it. And if you want a lot of control, you can actually adjust these angles here, and that will just rotate in one direction at a time. Now, this is a nice graph, but it really doesn't show us a lot of coordinates. And for that, we need to put some sort of coordinate system on this. Maple gives you a couple of options, and they're all controlled up here. So we have some different axis styles. This is going to give us a typical x, y, z axis all meeting at the origin. And in some cases you'll even see labeled axes. So there's the x and there's the y. So there's one way to think about the function. You can also have axes that are over to the side. I find this kind of confusing, but this may work for you. Again, this tells us x, that tells us y, and that, not labeled, gives us z. This is my favorite. Uh, we put the box on it, and this really helps me visualize what's going on. Again, here are my x values, there are my y values, and there are my z values. And that's basically it. So let's plot something else x squared plus y squared is a pretty important function for this class, so it's a nice one to think about. Let's make a change. Let's plot the square root of x squared plus y squared. And we get the ice cream cone. How cool. So one of the things you might want to be thinking about is, why are we getting an ice cream cone? So why was the last function a bowl, and why is this one a cone? And I'll leave you with that question.